Pisces, and welcome to Soul Horoscopes Weekly Edition. I'm your host of the universe, Christopher Witecki. And happy birthday to you. Hope you're having a good birthday period this year. The universe is heavily invested in Pisces, as you're about to see. Before we dive in, though, I want to talk about our sponsor this week, Lightcast Bootcamp. Now, you probably, out of all signs, know more than anyone that there is a new world around the corner, whether or not the world sees it or not. And it begins this fall. This fall when Saturn goes into Scorpio. This is the only class Soul Garden teaches on how to live in the new world, how to own the awareness, and how to be a leader in that new world. If you're ready to lead, if you're ready to put your legacy into motion, right in concert with the universe, you want to take this class. We've got a few more days. We're selling tickets. It starts this Sunday. It's going to be fun. Now, uh, also, I want to invite you to come down to soulgarden.me, where we have a community that we are building. We have office hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays where you can get practitioner help. We've got a chat room. We've got a love lounge. We've got resources. And and we've also got Mara, who writes for you here below, and she's writing about the Pisces birthday present, talking about your ego state of awareness. So come on down, be a part of it. It's going to keep growing, keep doing neat stuff. At least get your name in the hopper and register. That way you get our emails. If nothing else, come on down. We'd love to have you. Now, it is your birthday period. That means you are working on your ego state of awareness. Once a year during our birthday period, we upgrade the part of our soul that presents ourselves in public. This is known as the wall people put up. This this is your personality as people understand it. It's your first response. It is also your defense mechanisms. It is basically when you act or don't act. That is our ego state of awareness. And as we begin now on Monday, we're in chapter two of Sun in Pisces, which means it's time to step away from the parts of your ego that don't work and it's time to begin facing and moving toward the parts of your ego you want to work. And that's everything I listed under that sun, right? So the moon on Monday emotionally makes you very trigger happy with thoughts. Emotions and thoughts are working together on Monday. That's good for conversation. That's good for figuring things out. That's good for seeing where your mind tricks you when you're feeling something or your feelings trick you when you think something because those two states of awareness don't always work as a team, but they're kind of forced as a team on Monday. That's good because what you're doing is you're deciding. On Monday, you're deciding what parts of your personality, ego, defenses, hairstyle, wardrobe, you want to step away from and you're just kind of facing toward the direction. You may not know where you're going, but you know where you're not going. On Tuesday, we want to act. Time to act on Tuesday. Time to put into action what your decision is. So if you decided you're gonna change your wardrobe, go shopping. Go put it into action. Putting something to action is an important step in manifestation. We teach it at AMIT, the School of Manifestation at Soul Garden. Uh, we teach about action being important. We teach that in boot camp. The moon will still be in Taurus, so emotions will continue uh, to focus on uh, your thoughts. Excellent day to communicate, etc. Now, for those I watch over personally in the gardening agency, I will be sending out personal with text on Tuesday, uh, going back to your chart and encouraging you on how it takes for you to act and what it is that keeps you usually from acting, just to give you a little extra boost there if you're watched over by GA. On Wednesday, we hold space. Wednesday is a manifestation day. The Earth has no ruling planet. It is in pure form to bring our manifestation. So business that we do on Wednesday is more potent than usual. You are holding space for the new ego here with the sun moving into chapter two. And notice this. We have the beginning of a very powerful grand trine in Earth, what I call a soul pyramid at Soul Garden. That's because what this does is speed the energy up between three states of awareness because they get hardwired uh, in this angle and because they all speed up because the energy within your soul speeds up uh, you start to get things faster you learn faster you manifest faster and it's one of those periods where time speeds up okay now what it's doing is bridging three states of awareness on the one hand your mind the power of your mind and Jupiter is saying to Pisces hey time to expand the power of your mind time to think bigger think outside your box Whip out the thesaurus, it's time, all right? Pluto, moving forward, says, and at the same time of thinking differently, it is time to step into a new role in the world. So you're gonna put on a new hat and you're also gonna talk differently. Mars over retrograde in Virgo, the third piece of the, of the triangle and probably the most important, is saying, now while you're moving forward with a new you and you're moving forward with a new attitude, you're moving backwards in relationships. You're going to probably have to step backwards, move backwards in your marriage, move backwards in partnership, move backwards in friendship, because the, the decisions you made in the last six months maybe weren't the best, says Mars Retrograde. And so paying attention to those details, realizing that to pull off these two, you got to move backwards in this one. Now on uh, Wednesday, emotions focus on self-nurturing. So on Wednesday, you're going to probably want to baby yourself, nest and rest, just so you know, in this whole moment of meditation. So really, if you can take Wednesday off to meditate, that is bueno. 
On Thursday, it is a healing day. The day is ruled by Chiron. Virgo is basically the ruling uh, planet of the day. What that means is everything comes into beautiful synergy. This grand trine is just sharpening and tightening as the week goes on as far as the degrees and the orbs are getting smaller if you know your astrology. Look at this. On Wednesday, uh, on Thursday, excuse me, Neptune comes to one degree. So what's fascinating to me is the way uh, planets work because uh, not until chapter two, not until we're healing, not until we're past all the crap of your ego, does God whip out Neptune, your ruling planet, in your sign, okay? Bum, bum, it's just wonderful timing. And what that means is I would expect, you know, Pisces, write me if you're in G8, reply to me. I'm so curious how much your psychic awareness is going to jump up when you feel this, because I think Pisces are just going to wake up and start to see new colors. That's just my opinion, but we'll see. Uh, so Neptune, a fascinating thing. And again, the Grand Trine tightening. So then on to Friday, we're going to book it to Friday. Uh, Friday, we are, what are we doing on Friday? We are expanding. Friday's a day where I think things really start to fall into line uh, as far as uh, this whole new you being born, especially with, uh, with the psychic stuff just opening up uh, and your home planet focused on you. I think on Friday you're really starting to feel it. The moon moves into Cancer. What does that do for you? Light up your inner child. So this is becoming a spiritual twister a yoga pose where the universe is pulling, pulling, tugging, pulling, twi you know, it's like a mother picking at you before church, it seems like. And the moon is pulling you into your heart, but it's saying, hey, 